This is the first of four videos that give you a quick look at how to use the Square D edition of the Sense app for iPhone and Android. When you first open the app, you'll see the Now section, which gives you a quick real-time view of what's happening in your home. Tapping the bar graph icon will open the power meter. The power meter shows your home's energy usage and if you've entered your electricity rates in the settings screen, how much it's costing you. You can pinch to zoom in and view your energy usage in real time or zoom out and scroll to the left to see past usage. You can also pinch up and down to adjust the scale of the graph. These spikes tell us when electrical devices in your home turn on or off. Over time, these electrical signatures we're seeing will help Wiser Energy automatically identify individual devices in your home. In the meantime, you can walk around your home, turn things on and off, and instantly see the changes in energy usage. This should give you an idea of how much energy each device uses, even before Wiser Energy is able to identify them. If you have solar, you can see how much energy your panels are generating in this lighter shade of orange. You can compare your energy production with your electricity usage, which is shown in green. You can see what's on right now with the bubble view. Tap the bubbles icon at the top of the screen to switch to bubble view. Each device that Wiser Energy identifies gets its own bubble. The bigger the bubble, the more energy that device is using. Tap a bubble to see the exact wattage and double tap to see detailed information for that device. You can also pinch and zoom or move the bubbles around if they're crowding your screen. Below the bubbles and power meter is the timeline. The timeline shows the recent history of when devices were on and for how long. Tapping on an event will take you to a page that shows the device's usage statistics, historical trends, cost, and more. In the device settings screen, you can actually choose whether you want a device to be displayed in the timeline or not. I find the timeline especially useful for monitoring things like my sump pump, so I can quickly see if it turned on recently and for how long it was on, to make sure my home isn't flooded. To navigate to other features in the app, use the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen. In addition to the Now screen that we're looking at here, you can navigate to Trends, Devices, Settings, and Solar, if you have that option installed in your home.